Baseball Giants President Dr. Sarah Clemens and the Entire College. Welcome you to the Robert Jack Court here in the Milton H. Johnson Health Center. Tonight's game is a contest between the Central Georgia Tech Lady Titans and your ship Homo Lady Indians. Let's be pleased. First of all, the division inside, we have the Lady Titans starting with the Lady Titans, number three, Chelsea Cross. Number 11, Julia Spencer. Number 12, Shani McGee. Number 23, Santagius Alford. And number 24, Tony Walker. And goes to the Lady Titans, Antonio Harris. And good evening, sports fans, and welcome to this broadcast of Chipola Basketball on YouTube TV. Clint Cox live from the Milton Johnson Center here on the campus of Chipola College in Mariana, Florida. And courtside of the Robert Trammell Court tonight, the Indians of Chipola College playing host to the Titans from Central Georgia Tech. Game is underway, and the Indians take the early lead. Graham with the early basket for... The Lady Indians, 2-0. Four 10-minute quarters will be our format as the Indians will come up with a steal and set up the offense. Get you the starting lineups once again, but here's a three-pointer lofted by Muhammad. Off the mark, rebound Indians, and we'll have a traveling infraction against McKinney. And that will give the ball over to the Titans. They are dressed in the white uniforms, trimmed in blue. Chipola in the dark uniforms, trimmed in gold. Chipola across the chest. Numbers are the same color as the uniform, but they've got that Vegas gold trimming. Here's a drive to the basket. Loose ball on the floor. Last touch by Chipola. It'll belong to Central Georgia Tech. They'll inbound it on their baseline. We've played one minute of quarter number one tonight here on the Panhandle Classic. And that ball's out of bounds. It'll belong to the Indians. Panhandle Classic, two games tonight, two games Saturday night. The Chipola men will be taking on Gadsden State later on tonight at 7 o'clock Central Time after the conclusion of this game. 
Whistle and a stoppage of play. Foul against the Lady Titans. Correction, that'll be, yep, it will be against the Titans. Cross committing the first foul. Here's a drive to the basket. Shot is up. It is good. Caitlin Bryant with the bucket and Chipola with the 4 0 lead. Titans with a basketball. A drive, a shot, no good. Rebound goes to McKinney. Outlet to McLaughlin. On the wing, down in the corner. Shot is up, no good. Rebound, Titans. But it'll be out of bounds and last touch by the Titans. Chipola will inbound on their baseline. Greg Franklin, head coach of Chipola, in his 10th season. Antonio Harris, head coach of the Titans. He is in his eighth season, too. So two veteran coaches tonight traveling against the Lady Indians, and that'll give it to the Titans. Chipola comes in here with a 12-0 record, ranked number two in the state, number two in the nation. Titans come in here. They are four and three on the season. Titans with the ball, inside to Alford. Her shot up, no good, rebound Indians. And we'll set up the offense, pushing it into the corner. Shot is up, it is good. And Graham with her fourth points of the night and Chipola out to a 6-0 lead. Chipola has McLaughlin, number four, Bryant, number 12, Muhammad, number 15, Graham, number 20, and McKinney, number 22, starting. Titans for a three. That is Spencer, and they're on the scoreboard. They cut the lead to three for Chipola. Titans have Cross, number three, Spencer, number 11, McGee, number 12, Alford, number 23, and Walker, number 24, as their starters. McLaughlin with the ball. Over to Muhammad, her three off the glass, no good. Rebound Chipola, and we'll have a push off underneath against the Indians. First team foul against Chipola, and the first foul against McKinney. Last Saturday down in Hillsboro, Chipola won 72-63 to improve to 12-0 on the season. Titans driving to the lane, stolen by Chipola. McLaughlin on the run. In the paint, pull up. It's good. And it's 8-3, Chipola. McLaughlin takes it all the way and finishes. Titans driving. Their shot no good. Foul against Chipola. We'll have a Titan shooting. That Titan will be Cross. Foul against McLaughlin of Chipola. Her first, second team foul. At the free throw line, Chelsea Cross, 5'5", five five, sophomore out of Chicago, Illinois. Played at Plainville High School. First free throw is up in the air and good. Cuts it to a four-point Chipola lead. And that'll cut it to a three-point lead. Eight to five, Chipola with the lead. And the basketball. McLaughlin running the offense. She's on the wing. Looking inside, nothing there. Cross-court pass. Handoff to Muhammad. And into the game for Chipola is Mia Andrews, number three. Pull-up jumper by McLaughlin is no good. Rebound, Titans. Alford brings it down. Pulls up. They'll work it around the horn. There's a travel against Cross. Turnover by the Titans. Mia Andrews, five foot eight sophomore from Horsham, Pennsylvania. Played at Archbishop Wood High School. This is McLaughlin handling the ball for Chipola. She's five foot seven sophomore out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Played at Philip O'Berry High School. Andrews to the paint. 
to the corner. It goes to Graham. She drives her shot up. No good. But she'll go to the free throw line and shoot a couple. Alford picking up the foul for the Lady Titans. So Justina Graham to the free throw line. 5'11 sophomore out of Carson City, California. First free throw off the mark. She'll have a second coming. As we've played just over four minutes of quarter number one, she makes one of two. She's got five points on the evening. Pola with a nine to five lead. Pressure on, Titans break it. Pull up jumper, no good. They get their own rebound. Put back is no good, rebound Chipola. Graham brings it down on the wing. Gives it to McLaughlin. To Muhammad, to Andrews for three. No good. Rebound. Titans. Cross will bring it down on the near side wing. Her pull-up jumper in and out. Battle for the loose ball. Titans win it. Driving, shooting, and missing is Spencer. McLaughlin with it for Chipola on the fast break. To the paint, up top to McKinney. Working around the horn to Andrews on the far side. Up top to Muhammad. Jumper is clanging around, hits the top of the backboard. That was McKinney with the shot. That was no good. So the Indians on the floor have Brenda McKinney, number 22, Shia Muhammad, number 15, Jordan McLaughlin, number four, Mia Andrews, number three, and the fifth player is number 20, Justita Graham. McLaughlin to the corner to Andrews. She'll try to dish it across court, but she's going to be fouled, and I believe that will be cross with the foul. Cross does pick up the foul, her second. Subs coming into the game for Chipola. McLaughlin is out, McKinney is out, and Graham is out. They are replaced by, I'll get those names for you as soon as I can pick up the numbers. Muhammad and Andrews stay in the game. This is Andrews with it. This is Muhammad with it now. We'll feed it inside to Andrews. Her pull-up jumper, no good. Battle for the loose ball by Amzil. Goes out of... Amzil picking up the foul, her first. Titans with the basketball. Pull-up jumper by the Titans, no good. They get their own rebound. Put back is good. That is number 13, Worsley, with the bucket for the Titans. Nine to seven. Muhammad with it for the Indians. And a ch charging against the Indians call. That'll give the ball to the Titans. Ladesia Hughley, number five out of Opelika, Alabama. Five foot four freshman into the game for Chipola. Titans with the ball. Spin move, shot up, no good. We've got a contact and a foul. I believe this is going to go against Latifa Mzil. Her second foul. Mzil is out of Helsinki, Finland. First free throw up and no good by Alford. 
322 left in the first quarter as Alford knocks down the second free throw to make it a one-point game, 9-8. to eight. Muhammad with the ball in the paint. Up top, there's a three-pointer by Hughley. It's no good. McKinney back into the game for Chipola, along with Graham. Mia Andrews out, Hughley out. So McLaughlin, McKinney, Graham, and Zill, and Bryant on the floor for the Lady Indians in the dark uniforms. Titans in the white uniforms. They've got the ball. 15 on the shot clock. Working it around the perimeter now. Traveling is the call against the Titans. Michaela Glaster Brown shuffling the feet and called for the travel. Indians with the ball. McLaughlin up to Anzil and she shuffles the feet and that'll give it right back to the Titans. Titans with a basketball. They want three. Off the mark. That was Jalisa Office with the tray. Whistle underneath. Ball belongs to Chipola. McLaughlin handling the ball up top. Pull-up jumper, no good. Battles gets her own rebound. Titans, though, come up with it. They push it down the floor, but too much Tabasco on that. Goes out of bounds. It'll belong to Chipola. Brenda McKinney back into the game for Chipola, wearing number 22. Latifa Amzil will check out. Some discussion here by the officials. Not sure what that's all about, but they'll get it all worked out and let us know when they're ready. And they are ready. Titan basketball. Must have been last touched by the Indians, but they'll throw it away. McLaughlin with it, driving. Pulls up, now gives it right back to McLaughlin. Her shot, no good. Rebound Titans. Down the floor, but the Indians almost come up with a steal, but not quite. Office with it to the lane. Shot up, no good. Rebound Graham to McLaughlin, pushing it up the floor. Muhammad with the tray launch. It's no good. Actually, that was Caitlin Bryant with it. Apologize about that. Titans working it around the perimeter. Driving. They try to go inside. Indians come up with a steal. We want to run. McLaughlin now will pull up and set up the offense. Hand off to Bryant. Right back to McKinney. Muhammad with the ball. Graham now driving, shooting. It's good. Justina Graham, she's got seven on the game to lead the Indians in all scores. And the Titans will throw it away with just over a minute to play in the first quarter. The Indians leading by three, and they'll have the basketball. McKinney inbounds it to McLaughlin. She'll bring it down. Inside, the shot is up, it is good. Muhammad with the bucket. And it's a five point Chipola lead. Shimmy Muhammad wearing number 15 tonight. Wears 21 sometimes, but in the dark uniforms, number 15. Indians go for the steal. We get the ball, Titans go for it. They commit the foul. 
McGee picking up the foul for the Titans. 14 fouls on both squads right now. They'll shoot one and one. I'm sorry, they'll shoot two free throws when they get to five free throws or five fouls on either team. Turnover by the Indians. Titans want to run. Down the floor is McGee. Layup no good. Titans get the rebound. We'll be hammered on. We hammer them. Don't let them get the easy bucket. We'll make Worsley go to the free throw line to earn two from the charity strike. McLaughlin with the foul. Two on her. Jasmine Worsley. Worsley. Get that right in a minute. From Deerfield Beach, Florida. Five foot six freshman. Free throw. Up. No good. Worsley played at Deerfield Beach High School. Where's number 13 for the white clad Titans? Can't get that one to cling in, and the Indians come up with a rebound, but we throw it away, but the Titans don't want it. They lose it out of bounds. It'll be long to Chipola. McLaughlin will bring it down. Guarded by Worsley. Shot clock is off. Under 10 to play in the first quarter and we got a foul against the Titans it's going to go against McGee and Chipola will shoot free throws with seven and a half seconds left in quarter number one McLaughlin to the free throw line to shoot two first one's up and good she's got three points on the evening Jordan again, five foot seven sophomore out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Makes both free throws. And the Titans will play for the last shot. Winding down. Shot is on its way. Will not count. As it clanged in, clanged out. And the first quarter is over with Chipola leading the visiting Titans of Central Georgia Tech 15 to 8. We get ready for quarter number two. Clint Cox coming to you live. Glad you've tuned in to Chipola College Basketball on YouTube TV. Indians leading 15 to eight as we go into quarter number two as Chipola playing host to the Titans of Central Georgia Tech. Indians in the black uniforms, trimmed in gold. Titans in the white uniforms. We'll nearly throw it away, scramble for it. We get it back, McLaughlin. Here's a three-pointer on the way by Muhammad. No good. Ball knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Chipola. It'll belong to the Titans. Game one 
of four games that they call the Panhandle Classic here at Chipola College. Two tonight, two tomorrow night. Russell Register will be bringing you all the action tomorrow night. There's a drive, a shot, and a score by McGee. And it's 15 to 10, Chipola with the lead. Jordan McLaughlin. Let's get the Chipola five on the four, floor for you. Jordan McLaughlin wearing number four. Working it inside, and that's going to be a traveling infraction. That is Justina Graham, number 20. Caitlin Bryant wearing number 12. Brenda McKinney wearing number 22. And the fifth starter on the floor for the Lady Indians. As the Titans will get a bucket. To cut it to a three-point game. Tori Walker with that bucket for the Titans. Titans come up with a steal. McGee with it. Knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Chipola. Andrews getting set to check in for Chipola. Cross with it. Over to Spencer. Back to Cross. Down low to Alford. Stolen by the Indians. Outlet to McLaughlin. We'll push it up the floor. Pull up. Now we'll hand it off to McKinney. Right back to McLaughlin. Over to Bryant. To Muhammad. To McKinney. To McLaughlin. Muhammad will go inside to Graham. Turnaround jumper. No good. Getting the rebound is McKinney. Her putback is no good. Knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Chipola. It'll belong to the Titans. Mia Andrews into the game wearing number three for Chipola. Checking out, I believe, is Caitlin Bryant. Titans with the basketball. Spencer to cross. Right back to Spencer. Cross wants three now. Clangs off the rim. Battle for it. Won by McKinney for Chipola. McLaughlin. They'll go work it into the paint. This is Andrews now to McLaughlin. Down low. We'll push it inside. Turn around jumper. No good. Put back is good by Andrews. Andrews hustling underneath and she gets the bucket. And the Indians have a five-point lead again. That's going to be a foul against Graham of Chipola. Emzil into the game for Chipola, wearing number 41. So on the floor, we've got Graham, Andrews, Emzil, McLaughlin, and Muhammad. First free throw is up and good by McGee. She's got three points on the night. For the Titans, they've got Spencer, McGee, Alford, Walker, and Cross on the floor. Inside we go to Andrews, head fake, kicks it back out. Three-pointer by Muhammad is good. (laughs) Muhammad with the three. She's got five on the game. Five points, that is. And the Indians have a seven-point lead after three and a half minutes of quarter number two. Trey on the way for the Titans. No good by Spencer McLaughlin with the rebound. Indians outside the perimeter. This is Muhammad with it to McLaughlin. 15 on the shot clock. McLaughlin to Andrews, to Muhammad, to McLaughlin. Back to Muhammad. She wants a long three. In and out. Had a good look at it, but just wouldn't stay down. Titans get the rebound. 
Spencer with it on the far wing to McGee. She drives, shot no good, gets her own rebound. Put back is good. McGee with five points, all coming in the second quarter for the Titans. Indians with a basketball. Muhammad looks inside, nothing there. Muhammad now for a three. Clings off the rim. Amzil tipping it around. We get the rebound. McLaughlin with it for three. Won't go. Rebound Chipola. Shot blocked. Put back is good. But let's see what the call is. They may wave off the basket. We've got a player down for the Titans. I believe the foul is going to go against the Titans. McGee picking up the foul. That's her second. Can't tell the injured player's number for the Titans, so we won't speculate. Some subs in for Chipola. Looks like we're going to have Andrews, Emzeel, McLaughlin on the floor along with Hughley. And I believe that is McKinney. So timeout on the floor. Looking at the top 10 in the state of Florida, Northwest Florida State. This is for the ladies. Northwest Florida State, number one. Chipola, number two. Pensacola, number three. Gulf Coast, number four. Anybody who says the Panhandle Conference isn't the best, well, they haven't looked at the rankings lately on the ladies' side. Florida Southwestern, five. Eastern Florida State, six. Daytona State, seven. Santa Fe, eight. Indian River, 9, and Hillsboro, 10. As we look at the national polls, very similar in some respects. Northwest Florida State, they're ranked number one. Chipola, ranked number two. That's in the nation, folks. So we got it in the state and the nation. Two other Florida teams in the top 20. Florida Southwestern, number 11. And Pensacola State, number 19. I think we're ready to get back to action with 5-12 left in the second quarter. Chipola basketball, Hughley with the ball to inbound it for the Indians. Does so to Andrews. Up top to McLaughlin. To Andrews, to McLaughlin. McLaughlin on the wing. And we may have a moving screen against the Indians, possibly. Amzil picks up the foul. That's her third. Moving screen is the call. She'll get ready to check out with those three fouls. Titans with the ball. Cross with it. Into the corner. Here's a drive. They'll try to go to Alford. Stolen by the Indians. Hughley with it. Pushing the ball down the floor, stolen by the Titans. They want three off the front of the rim. Hughley gets it for Chipola. Gets it to McLaughlin, who hands it right back to her. On to the far side wing, now to McLaughlin. Driving, pull up jumper, in and out. Would not stay down. Rebound goes to the Titans. Cross with it. Working around the perimeter. And they'll throw it into backcourt. We'll try to hustle it down. Gloucester Brown will chase it down, but as soon as she touches it, it's backcourt. Caitlin Bryant into the game, number 12. Latifa Amzil, number 41, out for Chibra. Chipola. Bryant, six foot one freshman out of Opelika, Alabama. Played at Opelika High School. Up there in War Eagle Country. Although there are plenty of Alabama fans up that way too. Indians with the basketball. We'll work it to Hughley. Pass down low. Shot is no good by Bryant. We get the rebound, but I believe we're going to be fouled. Foul is against the Titans. 
Or maybe not. No foul called. But it is Chipola basketball. Hughley will dish it to McKinney. But she's fouled by the Titans. And we'll inbound it from the same baseline, just the different side of the basket. Andrews to inbound it. Does so to McLaughlin. Driving layup is good. Nice feed that time by the Indians for the basket. Timeout on the floor by Chipola. 3-33 to play in the second quarter. Indians lead by seven. Titans with the basketball. They're in the white uniforms. Indians in the dark uniforms. Titans break the press. Layup, though, is no good. Indians with the rebound. Muhammad down the floor to the paint. Gives it to McLaughlin. Her shot, no good. Battle one for the rebound by the Indians. Their putback is no good. That was McLaughlin who couldn't come up with it. And the Titans get the basketball. Three minutes to play in the first half and in quarter number two. Indians leading by seven. Titans driving, shot up, no good. Rebound, Muhammad for Chipola. Titans picking up the foul. That is four. And up at Adanho, if I am saying that right, or Adanho, maybe. Try to check on that at halftime. Indians with a basketball. Hughley with it up top. To the wing, down in the corner, inside. We'll kick it back out to Hughley. Seven on the shot clock. Into the corner. We've got to get a shot off. Here's a three by Mohammed. No good. Loose ball picked up by the Titans. And Hughley going to pick up the foul. Two sixteen left in quarter number two. Neither team in the bonus yet. So the Titans will inbound it. Greg Franklin, head coach at Chipola. Antonio Harris, head coach for the Titans. Coach Franklin in his black Chipola warm-up tonight. Looking sporty as always. McLaughlin on the run. Hands it off. Drive, shot, is good. And she'll go to the free throw line. That'll be Shia Muhammad. Let's get that right. Shimi Muhammad. And that wasn't Shimi. That was Caitlin Bryant. I'm going to get it right eventually, folks. I apologize about that. Bryant makes the two-pointer but can't convert the free throw. She's got four points on the night. There's a trade. 
that is launched and good by Spencer. Two threes on the night for her. She's got six points. And it's a six-point Chipola lead, 24-18, with just over a minute and a half to play in the first half. Indians inside. Shot up, no good. Rebound, knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Chipola's Muhammad. It'll belong to the Titans. Indians going to put on some pressure. Titans with a basketball. And they finally get it across without expiring the time. Three-point shot on its way. No good. Rebound Graham for Chipola. Outlet to Hughley. Pushing it up the floor to McLaughlin. Muhammad wants three. No good. And that'll be a Lady Indian going over the back of a Titan for the rebound. That is going to be Graham. Graham picking up her second foul. One more by either team, and they'll be in the bonus for the final minute of quarter number two. Turnover by the Titans. Hughley with it for Chipola. Driving, shooting, scoring! And going to the three to the free throw line will be Hughley. Hughley trying to make a three-point play the old-fashioned way. Can't get that. Misses the free throw. Titans get the rebound, but throw it out of bounds. And with just under 40 seconds to play, Chipola will have the basketball. About nine seconds difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Hughley to the corner, up top to Muhammad. Driving, shooting, scoring is Muhammad. She's got seven on the game. Indians lead now 10. Three-pointer by the Titans off the glass, no good. Hughley with the rebound, pushing it down the floor. But we'll lose it. Titans will get it. Driving, shooting, and scoring is Worsley. She's got four, and that will be the end of your first half as the Lady Indians of Chipola will go to the locker room leading 28 to 20 over the Titans from Central Georgia Tech. We'll come back with second half action in just a few moments.
And halftime is over. We get ready for quarter number three of this game between the Chipola Indians and the Titans from Central Georgia Tech. Click Cox coming to you live from the Milton Johnson Center here on the campus of Chipola College in beautiful Mariana, Florida. Court side of the Robert Trammell Court. Titans will have the ball to start the second half. They are in the white uniforms, and they will get a shot from Alford to start half number two and pull within 20 to a 28-22 lead for the Chipola Indians. Get the starting five for each squad. Indians in the black uniforms, trimmed in Vegas gold. Titans in the white uniforms. This is Muhammad for three. It's good. Shimmy Muhammad. She's got 10 points on the game. Gives Chipola a 31-22 lead. Titans with the ball. Alford driving, shooting. Shot is no good, but she'll go to the free throw line and shoot a couple. Alford to the free throw line. First one is up. It is good. She's got four points on the night. Chance for number five right here. And that's what she gets. 31-24, Chipola with the lead. One minute played in quarter number three. McLaughlin with the basketball. Before Chipola, we got Jordan McLaughlin wearing number four. That is Brendan McKinney wearing number 22 as the Indians turn it over. Also on the floor, Caitlin Bryant, number 12. Justina Graham, number 20. And the fifth starter, Shimmy Muhammad, number 15. Get the five starters for the second half for the Titans in just a moment. Muhammad for three, no good. Titans on the run. Pull-up jumper, no good from Spencer. Put back, though, is good by McGee. She's got seven, and it's a five-point Chipola lead, 31-26. Muhammad for three, no good. Ball tipped around, one by Alford for the Titans. Titans want three. They got them. And that is Spencer with the three. Her third three of the night. She's got nine points. And she's cut this to a two-point Chipola lead. Just over two minutes played in quarter number three. Muhammad to the paint. Driving. Shooting. Off the glass. No good. Rebound Titans. Cross will bring it down. Over to Spencer. They'll work it inside. Shot is up. It is no good by Walker. McLaughlin with the rebound for Chipola. Pushing it down the floor. Into the corner for Graham for three. No good. Rebound Indians. Driving, shooting. Shot is no good, but I believe we'll have an Indian to the free throw line. McGee picking up the foul for the Titans, her third. Caitlin Bryant will go to the free throw line and shoot a couple. Six foot one freshman out of Opelika, Alabama, played at Opelika High School. We got a couple of ladies from Opelika, both of them freshmen. First free throw is up and good by Bryant. She's got five points on the game. Ladesia Hughley is also from Opelika. Opelika. Second free throw up and good as well. So Bryant's got six on the game. Speaking of Hughley, she checks into the game wearing number five for Chipola. So does Mia Andrews. So we've got Hughley, Andrews, McLaughlin, Graham, 
and Mohammed on the floor for Chipola. Titans with the basketball. They want a long two-pointer. Shot no good. Loose ball. Titans come up with it. Spencer with it. Up top to cross. Hughley on defense for Chipola. And she'll be called for the hands foul. That'll be her second foul. Two team fouls on Chipola. Spencer takes the inbound pass for the Titans. Guarded by Hughley. Back to Cross, back to Spencer. And they'll go inside. Mohammed goes for the steal. Doesn't get it, but will be whistled for the over the back call. First foul on Shimmy. Cross will inbound it for the Titans. Inbound pass is put up by Adejo. Shot was no good. Chipola with the rebound. Hughley sets up the offense. To Graham. Inside to Muhammad. Driving. Loose ball. Titans come up with a steal. Spencer down the floor. Shooting. Scoring. Two-point lead for Chipola. 33-31 as we've played four minutes in the third quarter. Graham backing her way in. Turnaround jumper. Good. Took a while for that to drop through the rim, but it finally does. And the Indians with a four-point lead. And they're going to call the Titans with a... I don't believe they called a foul. They're going to say they stepped out of bounds. So the turnover will give it to Chipola with the four-point lead. Hughley with it to Andrews. To Bryant. Back around the perimeter. This is McLaughlin. They'll keep doing that till somebody gets open. Inside they go. Graham kicks it out. Driving, shooting is Bryant. No good. Rebound. Titans and Bryant going to be whistled for the foul. Bryant picking up her second foul. Four team fouls on Chipola as we've yet to get to the midway mark of quarter number three. So one more, and the Titans will be in the bonus for the rest of the third quarter. Titans with a basketball. Looking inside, nothing there. Worsley has it. Hands it off to Adenjo. Up top, they go to Glaster Brown. Now they go inside, shot up, no good. Follow is good though, by Office. Number five for the Titans. Gets the Titans to with it, Jalisa Office. Out of Ashburn, Georgia. Andrews with the ball for Chipola to McLaughlin for three. Shot no good. Titans save the rebound. But they will throw it away. McLaughlin comes up with a steal, pushing it, driving, shooting, and scoring. Jordan McLaughlin with eight points tonight, and Chipola lead is now at four. Under four to play in quarter number three. Off the foot of a Titan. Indians with the ball. Hughley down the court. Back to Bryant. Shot is up. It's good. And she'll go to the free throw line. A danger picking up the foul for the Titans. 
And Caitlin Bryant from Opelika, Alabama will go to the free throw line and shoot the free throw and try to make the three-point play the old-fashioned way. And that's just what she does. Nine points on the night for Caitlin. Indians apply some pressure. Titans pick up the ball. They get it across half court. They do not. Ten second violation. Pressure defense by Chipola. We've pushed the lead to seven. Indians want more. McKinney inbounds it to Hughley. Hughley up top. Working the ball around the perimeter are the Indians. To McLaughlin. Down low. Shot is up. It is good by Mohammed. Shimmy Mohammed with 12 on the game. Indians lead at nine. Indians come up with a steal. Hughley driving. Shot no good. Rebound Titans. Did everything but finish. Nice steal, nice move, just couldn't get it to drop. Titans get away with one right there, but the Indians come up with a basketball. McLaughlin driving, shooting, scoring, and she goes to the free throw line. Jordan McLaughlin with the reverse right-handed layup was falling to the floor, but managed to keep her balance, get the ball shot, dropped in the bucket, and she'll go to the free throw line. Timeout on the floor by the Indians, leading 44-33 with 2.47 left in quarter number three. Timeout is over. 2.47 left to play in the third quarter, and at the free throw line is Jordan McLaughlin trying to make a three-point play. Free throw is up. It is good. She's got 11 points on the night. Three for three from the charity strike is Jordan. 12-point lead for the Indians. Pressure on again, and they'll throw it away. Indians with the basketball, but will throw it away. Coach Franklin excited about the steal, not so excited about the pass. Titans with the ball, pressure by the Indians. And the Titans will throw it away, then there's a battle for the loose ball. And I believe the foul going to go against the Titans. It is going to go against Cross, number three. So number three for the Titans picks up her third foul. Both teams with 14 fouls, so they would shoot the bonus if either pick up another foul. Indians with the ball, McLaughlin up top. And a moving screen against the Indians. 
McKinney picking up that foul. Her second. And the Titans inbound it. Pressure. Loose ball. Indians with the steal. McLaughlin to the paint. Driving. Shooting. Scoring. And she'll go to the free throw line. This young lady can shoot off the balance as well as anybody. She'll drive. She'll get hacked. It won't always look like the perfectly formed shot. But she does the most important thing, and that's get it to go in the bucket. Another three-point play attempt. And that's it. 14 points on the night for Jordan. And she gives the Indians a 15-point lead with just over two minutes left in the third quarter. Timeout on the floor by the Lady Titans with 2.02 to play in quarter number three. Titans inbound it. And Ajo will bring it down the floor, gives it off to office. And there's another steal by the Indians. Hugley driving, shooting, and scoring. He's got four. Another steal. Driving, shooting is McLaughlin. Another basket. 16 on the game for Jordan. Another turnover. That'll give the ball to Chipola. With a minute 33 to play in the third quarter. He pushed the lead to 19. The Dolphin with it on the far side wing. Up top to Bright. We'll go inside to McKinney. Working it around. This is Hughley. Into the corner to Muhammad. Driving, shooting. No good. Indians with the rebound and the stick back. McKinney with the bucket. Her first of the night. And the Indians. McKinney with the bucket. Her first of the night. And with just under a minute to play in the third, Indians leading 54-33. Indians with a rebound, McLaughlin driving. Two on one, Hughley, shot, no good. Rebound, Indians. Put back is no good by Muhammad, but she's found, she'll go to the free throw line. So Shimmy Muhammad to the free throw line to shoot two. Six foot one sophomore out of Washington, D.C. Played at East Hill High Christian High School. First free throw on its way and in and out. First trip to the charity stripe tonight for Shimmy. Got 12 points on the evening and a chance for number 13 right here. There it is. Titans with the ball. Got away with the travel right there. They'll get it into the paint. Shot up, no good. Knocked out of bounds. Last touch by the Indians. And it'll belong to the Titans.
shot is up and good. That is Alford takes the inbound pass, puts it up. She's got seven in the game. And Chipola by 20 now. Shot clock is off. We'll play for the last shot. Hughley with it out top as we near the 12-second mark. Muhammad to Hughley to McLaughlin for three in there. Jordan McLaughlin with a tray to end the third quarter and give Chipola a 58-35 lead going into the fourth and final quarter. We get ready to begin the fourth and final quarter of this first game on Friday night of the Panhandle Classic here at the Milton H. Johnson Center on the campus of Chipola Cox College. Clint Cox coming to you live from Robert Trammell Courtside. Indians with a basketball. We'll work it inside, kick it to the corner. McLaughlin wants three. No good. Rebound Titans. Down floor, and there's some contact and a whistle. Going to go against the Indians. Justina Graham. Nope, I'm sorry. McKinney going to pick up the foul. Her third foul. Titans will inbound the ball right in front of their own bench. Cross to do those duties. Gets it to Spencer. Back to Cross. Driving. Shooting. Off the glass, gets her own rebound and stick back. I don't think it ever hit any rim, but she got the rebound and the bucket. She's got four points on the game. Indians with a turnover. Titans with the ball. McLaughlin going to be whistled for that foul. Third on Jordan. Mia Andrews getting ready to check into the game. Along with Caitlin Bryant. Checking out will be Graham and McKinney. Cross at the free throw line for the Titans. Her first free throw on its way and good. Five points on the evening for Cross. Chelsea Cross, five foot five sophomore out of Chicago, Illinois. Played at Plainville High School. She makes both free throws. Gives her six on the night, makes it 58-39. Indians with the lead. Titans will put on some pressure. Indians will break it and set up the offense. Andrews to Hughley, driving. She'll go to the floor. They're gonna call a tripping foul against the Titans. Don't know if it was a shooting foul, it was not. 
So McGee with the foul. That's four on her. She'll check out. Adanjo will check into the game for the Titans, number four. Andrews to inbound it for Chipola, does so. This is McLaughlin on the wing. Hand off to Andrews. Hughley. Mohammed will try to go inside. Andrews shot is up, no good. But she'll go to the free throw line and shoot a couple. Cross picking up her fourth foul. So now two of the starting five for the Titans with four fouls. At the free throw line for Chipola, number three, Mia Andrews, 5'8", sophomore out of Horsham, Pennsylvania. Free throw up and no good. Makes one of two. Gives the Indians a 20-point lead at 59-39. Mia with three points on the evening. Turnover, Titans. McLaughlin with the steal to Andrews. Hughley to Muhammad. Pull-up jumper, no good. Muhammad gets her own rebound. Tries to go down low with the pass. It's knocked out of bounds. I believe they're going to say last touch by the Indians. So it'll be Titan ball. Thought that would have been Chipola ball, but officials felt differently. Pull up jumper by the Titans. No good from Spencer. She gets the rebound shot blocked by the Indians. Muhammad with the block and the ball driving, charging. Good defense that time by Worsley. Got the feet set, drew the contract, contact, and the charge. Pressure by the Indians. Titans break that pressure and set up the offense. Inside to Spencer. She tries to go down low to Worsley. They couldn't make the connection. Turnover gives it to Chipola. 7.36 to play in the contest. Indians leading by 20. Chipola number two in the state of Florida, number two in the national polls. Trying to improve to 13 and 0. They'll be in action tomorrow night against Jones College. That game at 5 p.m. Night number two of the Panhandle Classic. Driving, shooting is Muhammad. That shot is off. Titans with the rebounds. And I believe Jones College ranked number three in the nation. So tomorrow night, at 5 o'clock, at the Milt, you'll have the number two and number three teams in the nation playing right here. There's the floater by McLaughlin. It's good. She's got 21. I'd like you to stay tuned for game number two tonight. Chipola men will be taking on Gadsden State. They'll also be in action tomorrow night at 7 as the jumper is missed by McLaughlin, as they'll also take on the Jones College team. So, Jones College in here for two games tomorrow night. Indians with a basketball, 6-13 to play in the fourth. Three, three ball from the corner pocket is good from Caitlin Bryant. 12 on the night for Caitlin, and the Indians lead 64-39. Timeout on the floor by the Titans and Coach Antonio Harris. With the timeout, with 5.57 left to play in the game, and Chipola leading 64-39.
to action. Just under six minutes to play in the contest. Indians leading the Titans 64-39. Clint Cox coming to you live. Have the men's game coming to you later on tonight live as well. Tomorrow night it'll be Russell Register with the broadcast for the men and women. A three-pointer on the way. No good from Muhammad. Clings out of bounds. It'll belong to the Titans. Titans on the run. Shot is no good. Titans thought they got a foul. They did not get the call, though. Hughley for three. Good. And with seven points on the night, LaDasia Hughley out of Opelika, Alabama. 67-39, Indians with the lead. Titans want three. It's no good. Rebound, Chipola. Muhammad gets the carom, hands it off to McLaughlin. Less than five to play in the game now. Indians with the ball. Inside will go to McKinney. They kick it around the horn. Muhammad drives, shoots, gets the sh touch. Nice roll that time by Shimmy Muhammad. She's got 15 on the game. Indians with three players in double figures. McLaughlin with 21, Bryant with 12, and Muhammad with 15. McLaughlin driving, trying to add to that 21, can't do it. Rebound goes to the Titans. Pull up jumper is good. Tori Walker with the bucket. She's got four. And with 4.04 to play, Titans call timeout. Trailing the Indians 69-41. Just over four minutes to play in this game one of the Panhandle Classic tonight from the Milton H. Johnson Center here on the campus of Chipola College. Glenn Cox coming to you live as the Indians leading the Titans. 69-41, the visiting Titans are from Macon, Georgia. Graham. Goes inside, shuffles the feet, and will draw the traveling infraction. Ball now belongs to the Titans. On Monday night, the Titans will be back in action. They will host Brennan College out of Atlanta. That game will be in Macon. Next up for Chipola, they'll play tomorrow night at 5 o'clock against Jones College. And then at the end of this month, in December, as there's a shot and a score by Worsley. She's got six on the evening. 
69-43. Indians turn it over. Shot is up and no good by the Titans. Rebound Chipola. And the Indians did something. Not exactly sure what the call was, but they're saying it's Titan basketball with 3.05 to play in the fourth quarter. The Titans to inbound it. They pump the ball and they do get the inbound. Shot is up, it's off the glass. It is good by Walker. She's got back-to-back buckets and Titans trying to make a little run right here. 69-45, Chipola with the lead. 2.45 to play in this fourth quarter. Three-pointer off the rim. Rebound by Chipola, but they're going to call the whistle. And the foul against Chipola is going to go against Bryant. Her third. Fourth team foul against Chipola. Sub coming into the game for the Titans, so we'll hold play. Titans will bring it down the floor. They want three off the mark. Rebound McLaughlin for Chipola. Pushing it up the floor, driving, shooting. Can't get the score stolen by Hughley. Her drive, her shot is good. She's got nine on the evening, and the Indians make it 71-45 with the two-minute mark approaching. That one's off the glass and good by Walker. She's got hot right here in the fourth quarter. Six points in quarter number four for the Titans. Indians will throw it away. Trying to make the connection to Bryant. She couldn't get the handle on it and it touched the sideline. Titans with the ball, Worsley. They'll work it inside. Now kick it out. Turn around jumper, no good. By Alford. Indians on the run, layup, missed. Titans with the rebound. This is Cross pushing it up the floor, driving. Shot off the mark, it was put back up by the Titans. No good, but they were fouled, and they'll go to the free throw line. McKinney picking up the foul for Chipola, her fourth. It'll send McGee to the free throw line for the Titans, shooting a couple. First free throw up and good by McGee. She's got eight points. Shanique McGee out of East Point, Georgia. Makes both free throws. Nine points for McGee. Indians to inbound the basketball. We do with just over a minute to play. We break the pressure, driving, shooting. And going to the free throw line will be Bryant as she's hammered. Caitlin Bryant to the free throw line for Chipola. She has been there four times tonight, three of four. They get four of five. Yeah, makes them both. 73-49, Indians 
leading big. They'll improve to 13 and 0 on the season. Titans working it around the perimeter right now. Cross court pass. This is Cross with the three. It's no good. Out of bounds. It'll belong to Chipola. Hughley takes the inbound pass, gives it to Graham. Back to Hughley. Down floor to McLaughlin. Driving. Shot. No good. And there's a shot and a foul on the other end. And a Titan will go to the free throw line. It will be McGee who was just there a moment ago. Hughley with the foul for Chipola, her third. McGee been to the free throw line three times tonight for the Titans has made all three and now four for four ten points and a chance for number 11 right here can't get that one first miss of the night so she's got ten points and now three out of four from the free throw line Indians can just simply let the clock run out. Shot clock and game clock almost identical. And it will wind down. The Chipola faithful will give them a hand. And the Indians of Chipola are going to pick up victory number 13 on the season with a 73-50 to 50 win over the visiting Titans. For Chipola, we were led by Jordan McLaughlin with 21 points, Caitlin Bryant with 14, Shimmy Muhammad with 15, Hughley added 9. For the Titans, they were led by Spencer with 11, McGee with 10. They will fall on the year to 4-4 four and four again. Chipola 13-0 now. They'll be back in action tomorrow afternoon at 5 p.m. right here from the Milt, taking on the number three team in the nation, Jones College. Men's coming up, men's action coming up in about 20 minutes. So stay tuned for more Chipola College basketball on YouTube TV.